Hello and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. This is Tech Guy from the Hive and, and welcome, welcome to, to Floss Tube. Tube. <laughs> 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 what y'all don't understand and know is what's oh going on. This is our retakes from retakes. So uh -huh. for whatever reason, we just cannot get our intro right today. My goodness. We were like three minutes into the other one and I choked on nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. I was just talking and choked. <laughs> so welcome to real life at the Hive. Yes, it's the end of a school well, day. Well, again, it's the end of a school day, right? Like, yes. you just said that, but, like, uh -huh. I mean, the older that you get, sometimes my my brain cannot make it through a whole day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it just can't. Yeah. It's running out of gas. Absolutely. Um, so, we're a couple days late on our normal filming schedule. That's because we uploaded a quilting tutorial last week with Cotton Cuts. We were asked to be a part of their puzzle mystery quilt. So, I am doing uh, out of 10 clues, we are on clue number three. I've really enjoyed it. You all have been so generous in your comments. Um, if you've watched that video, everybody's been very um, encouraging and gracious in that. Um, you know, we have a lot of history with quilting. That's how our channel started. We have a lot of history with quilting on YouTube. Some of it not so great. And so to tip our to, to dip our toe back in the in the YouTube waters of quilting uh, was really nerve wracking. But we are three months in now and doing wonderfully. And you all are loving it. And some of you are sewing along with us. And I love that. If you have not heard of Cotton Cuts, it is um, a fantastic company that has different subscription boxes and. For the pre-cut mystery quilt boxes, they laser cut everything, even dog ear. So you literally just have to sew it together. The ears are already dog, like your clip corners are already clipped and everything. It would be a so great amazing. box if you want to dip your toe into quilting. Yes, it like, would be a fantastic beginner box. You're right. Like you're for, for the beginner, you're like, hey, I've got. Yeah. And you don't have to have, and correct me if I'm wrong, you don't have to have like the greatest machine. You don't have to have like a mid to great line machine like mm -hmm. it, it's something that literally you are following someone to do it yeah and you're just putting the pieces together and the cool thing is it's a mystery right so it's not i know what's going to be it's kind of like the investment of i want to see what's next yep absolutely so if you that's know, a really you, good point it's a it's a really great beginner box I'm right and it's that. not it's not a dig on the company at all no. it's just something that if you're thinking about doing it you're like i don't want to deal with measurements i don't want to deal with cutting right now because that's for some people, like me, that's a huge jump to see a pattern that you've done and like, okay, then I have to cut this and I have to cut it this way and then I have to like shape it up again. Mm -hmm. I have to like, eh, it takes all the guesswork out of it. Yeah. That's so it's really, really nice. Point. Yeah. So um, if you've not watched that, head over. You can uh, watch that on our channel. Yep. We, uh, like I said, are on clue three of 10 where we are mystery detectives trying to figure out what the uh, clues are. And I'm sewing it with a Christmas fabric and I'm so it's gonna look so good. I'm so excited about it. Fantastic. Yeah. Like you thought ahead on that. Yes. So uh, we've also, well, I've also done a lot of stitching this week, more than I typically would during school year. Um, but I've just, the kids and I have been killing it in school. So I've had a lot of uh, stitching time in the afternoons, which is wonderful. We have two boys now where mommy is very hands off of school. They would be so embarrassed if I called myself mommy in front of them. They are mom, mom. Um, and so they're very hands off now. They're writing their own papers. They're editing their own papers. They're doing all their own presentations and everything. So, uh, I have a lot of like time that I could, if I have a repetitive pattern, like a border, um, then I can sit at the school table. They can work on school and I can, I can stitch a little, which is a fun place to be in. A fun place to yeah, be in. Yeah. And I would think that during the school year, it's low tide on stitching. Yes. For you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I stitch a lot more on breaks and um, like in the summer. Yeah, <laughs> which is opposite of a lot of people. A lot of people only like not only stitch, but their main stitching is in the winter, and that's just not how it is for me. Or us, or as a family, or in, correct. And we don't have a break yeah. until Christmas. Yes, I have my pumpkin shirt on today. I'm very excited. About very it. fall, y'all. Very fall, y'all. Um, okay, so, so speaking of like homeschooling and YouTube and and all the world, so I watch Nisi Lynn. Uh, if you have not watched Niecy Lynn on Floss Tube, she is a fun character to watch. She is hilarious. I really like her just outlook on things. I just think she's really funny to watch. I, I, just salt I connect, of the earth, like just to, yes, like, very matter of fact. Yes. Um, I, I love everything. Ah, 
Yes, I love everything that she stitches. She's I was going to say, like, not everything, but no, that's a lie. I do love everything. I love the way she finishes stuff or has things finished. The way she talks about everybody, like, they're her best friend. Like, I love that, and I just, I love that. So, this week, I was watching her for her video from Friday, and her little granddaughter, Aria, is in the background drawing. And I thought, this is a great thing to mention here, too. I, I messaged her, and we talked a little bit, and I told her about oh, this thing. Yes, oh. I told her about this thing. It's a great old, the thing about Instagram, right? Yeah, exactly. And um, so her little granddaughter is over in the corner drawing, and she cannot figure out how to draw a bicycle, and she really wants to draw this bicycle. And, and Nisi is being so incredibly patient, and she's like, I'll help you in a minute, baby. And, like, all this. She's just really, really sweet, right? So I messaged uh, Nisi Lynn, and I'm like, have you ever heard of Art Hub for Kids? It's great. Yes. So just a little backstory with Art Hub for Kids. So it is a channel here on YouTube. It is a dad and his whole family. They have kids ranging from toddler up to, I think, preteen. And he takes one of those kids and does an art lesson with them. And he has hundreds of videos on his YouTube channel. And sometimes it's the toddler and they're just drawing shapes and they make shapes into, you know, uh, they take this one shape and make it into this character and whatever. And it's very step by step. He's a fantastic kids channel. If you are like us and don't allow your kids to watch YouTube, um, they have their own website as well that you can stream the videos. Yes, they're from YouTube, but they only play on their website. Yep. So it's a fantastic resource for any age of kids. Um, even, I mean, he gets into some like intricate things with his preteens, but we love it. Yes. Uh, we found ourselves really needing to find things for kids, our kids to do uh, over the summer. And that seemed to be a really great pastime for our boys and our family. And he does some really fun things. He, you can go in and search just Art Hub for Kids and um, he just uses pencil, markers, crayons, like your normal everyday stuff on white printer paper. Very so. simple, but it also it becomes like very complex with the older the kid is. Yeah, absolutely. He, and he talks about pause the video. If you need an extra second to draw that line, then pause the video. And so it's really, really interesting. And a lot of our homeschool friends use that. In fact, um, we've told you all that we've had a pretty rough summer. Um, our six year old, uh, who we've made a video about this before has something called hydrocephalus. He had to have a very large surgery in May, very unexpected called a cranial vault expansion. What that means is, uh, they make an incision from ear to ear. They break the skull in several different areas to expand it and try and let his brain grow. And in doing that, he was on bed rest for like three months. So we had to find things that not only connected us as a family, but also that was friendly enough that he could do it while lying in bed. And, um, you know, we've, we've come a long way this summer and we've, <laughs> we've had a lot of obstacles and we've gotten through them all and it's been wonderful. Um, but that Art Hub for Kids was such an amazing platform for our boys to do things together that they all three liked and could do it while sitting and completing Participating the project. Participating together. Yes, exactly. So that's just my two cents about that. I thought, you know, Nisi's granddaughter reminded me, like, that's such a great resource to just mention if you have kids or your grandkids or anything. It's a fantastic rainy day activity. Yeah, so. fantastic. Yeah, that was a tangent I was not planning on getting on. Yeah, I didn't realize but... we were go, going there. So you went there. and uh, <laughs> yes. um Okay. Yeah. Cool. So anyway, so that's where we're at. That's, uh, that's, I guess, there you go. That's where our summer has been. Fantastic. So with all of that being said, let's talk about some stitching, shall we? It's been 10 minutes in and now we, we can get to, to stitching. talk about stitching. Yes. Okay. I think you just have one whip, right? <laughs> okay. So the only reason I say that is I have two. So I'll go first. You're and then an it'll overachiever. Be even. Well, no. Okay, so this first whip was in my plans last oh, video. Man. It is a uh, Prairie Schooler and Colleen from Moon Pie Fry or Rebel Stitcher um, is hosting a sow. I think it's just hashtag PS for Prairie Schooler. So sorry, Prairie Schooler Halloween Sal. Okay. I think is what it is. So she just wants you to stitch any Halloween Prairie Schooler. I grabbed this one, it's Bump in the Night. I had started this for my 12 by 12 on New Year's Eve, which if you don't know what that is, um, I don't start any new projects over the year unless they are previously allotted. This year I had five allotments. I think I've only done three. 
Um, I may have done four at this point. But I would say that's fill that's gonna quickly fill pretty soon. Yes. Um, and so I had started this uh at 12 by 12, which is where I pick 12 projects to start on New Year's Eve, and I work from noon to midnight, one hour each project, and I start new uh 12 new things, and that's basically like my start a palooza. Like I get to start everything there. I don't do mania anymore, I don't just start projects on a whim. If we get something from market, I don't start it unless uh, it's a previous allotment. Uh, I have made one exception this year, and I'm going to talk about one exception, not this video, oh, that but was next long video. dog sampler uh, pandemic. No, it was not. It wasn't? No, no. Uh, that was already That was started. last year. Yes. Um, Good no, night. my it's one over. allotment this year is my Sarsi Girl pandemic That's sampler. right. Was, I was getting yes. them mixed. Okay, so this is Bump in the Night. I started it in my 12 by 12, which is 12 projects in 12 hours on New Year's Eve. And uh, so, so this cool. is Prairie Schooler Bump in the Night. And I started down in the corner. This is a 46 count from something. Somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. So I really like it. I think it's super cute. So um, in between like all the negative space is like an orange color that looks like it's all glowing. So I started that one. I had originally thought that these could all, I could break them up and do ornaments like these two. But upon discussion. Discussion. Yes, I think I'm going to do them uh, separately. One piece. Or, I'm sorry, one piece. So yes. one piece. So that's my first whip. Go ahead. Cool. And then I am continually, continually, continuing uh, Luminous Fiber Arts Farm Fresh Eggs. And then I'm going to pull this out. And I have the border of the door done. Not the fill-in yet, but I want to get the door because I think I made a mistake right here so i wanted to make sure i had enough of the door come over here and then connect it and then we're gonna make some room for the winder and those are half stitches and red these red. are half stitches and red so i'll go back in um kind of gives me a feel on if i need to buy more licorice mm -hmm. um licorice red color classic works Classic color works. There we go. I was like, what are you trying to say? I uh, make up. I just Classic made a, I just made a new company. <laughs> um, so I did half stitches here. I did full stitches on the barn door because I got to the point that I couldn't realize what was a half stitch or a whole stitch on uh, B5200. So I'm like, I'm just going to cross them yeah. now. What did you figure out about your white stitches? I do not like white stitches. Yeah. I'm not a big fan. I don't know why it's just white stitches that it doesn't look great for me mm -hmm. and every color does i think i think at one time or another every stitch every stitcher struggles with white stitches i don't struggle i just don't like it <laughs> <laughs> there's a difference that's funny um so you know i could have made it a different color but it wouldn't have popped with the licorice red because the licorice red goes in between uh the white b5200 stitches so yeah be working on that i will i will probably get the rest of the barn filled in with half stitches uh and go back later when i get the barn done cool cool yeah that barn door looks really cool yeah i've got two more windows to put in there i think four more windows to put in there because i've got three on top and then oh, okay. this one right here that i've got to pop in and that's a christmas present right yeah i, I gotta get things done yeah, because I, yeah because uh, the, the holiday season's upon us winter is coming <laughs> and uh, i need to make sure that this is done yeah buttoned up yes. so what do you have all right my second whip is something that i started in the fall of 2019 we did a meet and greet at keepsakes which we so enjoyed doing yes, we did. Um, we would love to do that again. We just have not. I mean, you know, there's just been a little thing that has prohibited travel. Um, so I had started this <laughs> in the fall of 2019 at that meet and greet. At meet and greet. Uh, this is by With I Needle and Thread for. Uh, nope. This is by Brenda Gervais for With I Needle and Thread. Brenda. And this is Boo to You. I love this. It's cute. Oh, this pumpkin is just everything. So this was a restart because I had started on 32 count fabric and did not like it. Uh, you all know me now and my high we call count that fabrics. We call that the great restart. The great restart, yes. <laughs> um, and so I found a 40 or 46 count that I love. This is cute. And you guys, I just like one day, 
this happened in a 24 hour period of stitching, not 24 hours straight. I did not do that, but like I just hammered this guy I'm out. I'm pretty sure you didn't. I'm, so I'm, it sounds like I finished it. Obviously I no. did not finish it, but I put the skirt in the boots. Like I had nothing. This, there was nothing on this piece of fabric when I restarted it. Because you started it right up here, didn't you? Uh, no, I started down here in this corner. In the corner. Yeah. That's right. You turned into a corner stitcher. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that's where I'm at. I am changing the color of his shirt. His shirt is now going to be that golden color. And he's supposed to have a necklace. She, I'm sorry, she. I was going to say, I wasn't sure where we're. She's supposed to have a candy corn necklace, but I decided not to do that. The white was not, the white that is supposed to be her shirt is not showing up well on my fabric. It's pretty light. And so I decided to pick that mustard color. I'm going to do a mustard colored shirt on her. So, she can just be all the other homeschool moms with mustard-colored shirts. Or so, any other person that likes mustard-colored shirts. That's true. Because I do have a mustard-colored shirt myself. That's true, you do. I do. That's absolutely true. So, that was my other whip. And I just, like, I just, like, not... That, um, the plaid skirt that she has is... Cute. Uh, four different colors. And I just, like, knocked it out. Like, I was ready to go and I just did it. And it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun, actually, stitching that skirt. Which is funny. Cool. All right, I have a finish. I'm so excited. This is pretty awesome. This finish is a year late, but that's okay. Um, it's okay. You know what? It's fine. It's finished. It's fine. It's finished. I think, I think I have a frame for it. Um, I'm going to take the frame to keepsakes and see uh, what Barbara can do. But you haven't even seen this yet. Because no. I finished it uh, before <laughs> I went to bed so last time. <clears throat> Right before you went to bed, or maybe in the middle of the night, or when you were getting comfortable, I don't know, it was wee hours in the morning. It was like 12 o'clock. You were like, hey, I finished. I said, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. And then I was like, hey, where's the remote? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly <laughs> yeah. It was. Okay. So, like I said, I just knocked it out with stitching this week. I just wanted to get a ton done. This was a goal Now, too. this is not pressed or anything like that, but. Look. Coming to America. beautiful is that is finished it is, it is finished. finished in all of its glory i took some things out added some things in i put my initials up here in the top in that rusty blue color that i love that's a great color so um there's a lot of dark around the edges yeah. right so when you go to fold it in or not fold it but when barbara goes to frame it all of that dark basically disappears so here it is it's gonna be a cool piece I will do a slow roll if you would like to look at it. A slow roll, huh? As much as I do. That border is just amazing. Like, I I, I will not lie to you. After I finished the Plymouth there at the bottom, I really thought, like, I don't know that I love this border. I don't know that I want to put a border on it. I think I just kind of want to leave it. And, and have it matted and not have a border on it. And so what did you say? You were like, put in a little bit of the border. If you don't love it, then don't do Take it. Take it out, yeah. So I started doing, and I think you guys saw this, the broken dashes. So there are two lines of broken dash on the outside. And then you come in here and do the rope detail and it makes it look like a rope. So I did the two broken borders all the way around. And then I was like, I'm just going to do the... I, it's it, obviously it's happening now because I've already put it in. And then when I started to put in that intersection, the yes, of the actual, I'm trying to get it to where you can see it. So then when I started putting in the center and it just like roped it, I was like, yeah, that's, I'm so glad I did not skip the border. It is everything like, and it was fast and easy. It like took me no time to do the border. It was just the discipline of like, just sit down and do it. So, I just love it so much. I love so, it. I'm glad. I will be so glad to get this um, framed and done. I have so much thread left over um, just because I do. So, all of this will be going, going back. back on its original skeins. And it was such a good color palette, too. So, so much left over. I do have a lot left over. Huh. So, and I will ask Barbara to keep as much of the fabric as she can. Um, and I will do some ornaments or something along the edges. I, I don't like to waste any fabric. 
So. No, no, of course not. Yeah, so if she has any left, then I will use it for that. Okay. So that was a huge finish for me. I'm so excited about it. Um, yeah. So. Fantastic. Okay. So what is next on the... Um, do you want to do... Let me do a little bit of mail call. Sure. Um, we got a really sweet little card in the mail from, from Becca. The in the post. From Becca of Sambri Stitches. I just thought, look how cute that card is. So um, she just sent us... She is selling now stickers and um, so she sent us one of each just as a little thank you. Um, she had asked for some feedback on her stickers and stuff like that. Um, and so she just sent that as a little thank you with a sweet little note. And her daughter actually um, drew that picture. Oh, cool. Illustrated uh, the, the picture of Shadow. So thank you so much, Becca. I thought that was a very sweet little note. Okay, do you want to do Keepsakes Haul next? Keepsakes Haul. Yeah. Did we do this one already? I thought we did. No, oh. no, this is our, um, keep, this is our market haul. Oh, I'm sorry. Markets. It is our market haul that we purchased from Keep Six. And we finally got it in. Uh, Teresa Kogut, she's such a nice lady. Yeah. Like, I wish we were just neighbors with her and just hang out and stitch. Soul Sisters. That is a beautiful piece. Mm -hmm. This Beauty. will eventually be a piece that Steph and I do for hashtag BFF style. Yes, ma'am. And then this is the new one. Yes, this is a a new one, right? Yeah, they're yeah. yeah these are all new market. No, 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 the new designer that we have not oh, come across yes. yet. Sorry, mm -hmm. when I Sorry. use words correctly, people can understand them. So, pansy patch quilts and stitchery. We picked up four of these guys. Look how wonderful that That's is. That's winter. That is obviously oh, the winter so one. Look at a house with a big old quilt star on there. Mm-hmm. And then we've got, looks like, which one is this one? That one is spring. Oh, it says it on the, on the thing. Mm -hmm. There you go. Look at all those quilting stars. Fantastic. And this is a fall. Again, the house with the quilt block on it. Look at that red wagon. Love that tree. Mm -hmm. And this is summer. This was also a designer that got tossed around a lot during um, Common Thread Stitcher. Stitcher. A lot of people had not seen her before, and this was her first market. And so um, her picture, her her profile was shared a lot for Common Thread Stitcher. And then we've got... Uh, this was a new release yep, for Fiber on a Whim. Yep, Bristol Linen. Color is Heather. So when you think of Heather, I think of this. Let me make sure I... And uh, yes, it is as purple as the screen makes it seem it is. <laughs> Very. Yes. It's one of those things like, that's not what a picture looked like yeah. before. So it, it, it is what it is. So we've got... We've got a half a yard of half that. Half a yard so Heather. <laughs> I'm going to figure out something really cool to yeah, put on that. We're going to so, do something really fun. Yeah. And then I got a little bit... I um, needed some threads for an upcoming project um, of uh, BFF style. And so, look at, look at that. that. Very, like... That's very oops. fall. Yeah. It's very, like, I don't know. It's kind of spring to me. Really? I don't know. Maybe it's the way that you're seeing it. So, um, <laughs> Stephanie also sent me all the threads I needed for uh, for that. So, I'm very excited about it. All Fantastic. right. Um, I'll go. Sure. Well, be Stitch Me package came through. Golly. Yeah. This is so beautiful. Paprika. That is coming out more orange than red here. It is. Uh, it's definitely a red. It's, it's very red. Orange. Yeah. And then pumpkin patch. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That would make some, like a gorgeous autumnal tree. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Sorry. All lit up. That's what I am during the holiday season. Oh, that's cute. And pumpkin. Ooh, love that. So it's coming across very pale there. But it's but very in real deep. life, it's like a deep orange. Like that's a like good a burnt. pumpkin color. And then mild sauce. That's cute. <laughs> so great. That's cute. Great job there. And then we We also get their fabric. Yep. After the harvest, linen 46 counts. Oh, I love it. Oh. This is phenomenal. You guys, 46 count is my sweet spot. Okay, I've decided. So I was, this, I love it. This is pulling up gray and dark gray. It's actually a purple tint to this. Like, I can't believe that's like changed the color. 
I love it so much. It's beautiful. It's such a good gray neutral. It's fantastic. Yeah. And again, if it's something that you need to work on your stash or you would like to mm -hmm. uh, dabble into that, Be Stitch Me has great products. I've never been disappointed on it. And it's not too far off the color scheme that we wouldn't use. Yeah. Um, like some other uh, companies, but like this is pretty nice. Yeah. So it's always great to have a stash. I look it up every time I talk about the threads, yes. the floss. The silks. They're the just silks, nice. they're like great. Them. And it's yeah. one of those things that you can switch out or change up in a different project. You're like, hey, I need something that's deeper. I need something that's going to be a little brighter. Yeah. And you can switch it out with your stash. Yeah. We also get the Color and Cotton uh, Fabric of the Month Club as well because I love Color and Cotton Fabric. I, it just has a different feel to it. I really like it. So we um, get the 32 count Lugana, which I know is redundant, but uh, we get the 32 count and then the 40 count. Uh, this one is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like this is just really pretty. And I know we always talk about the different the difference in dye lot uh just from the fabrics themselves. But I just think oh. that's a beautiful, beautiful um neutral color. We're not, so. we're, we talk about this every time we talk about I would about say it. that's pretty true. That you? is pretty true. Yeah. We'll have to do something with those D stash for 32 because I think we're 40s. 40 we keep plus saying that and then I never do a D stash because Instagram that yeah. just intimidates me to have to do a D stash on Instagram. So if you're looking for 32 count, just, I guess, email me and then, uh, we got a lot of it. We do. We have a lot that we need to do. All right. A little bit more fabric to go. This is a cool color. Stephanie took a trip up to craft gallery and I was like, Hey, I'm really looking for something for snow village to go on. Cause I would really like to restart it. And I would like my white to pop off of it. And she found, um, picture this plus she found a fat half of storm they had just gotten it in this is awesome she was like the first person to go through it and so i said can i please have a half a yard so i just think this is great it's i love it so much so i'm gonna do mine all in one piece probably and i think this is gonna be a fantastic color for that so i'm very very excited she had gotten it gosh a long time ago like probably two trips ago um but she's just she's so sweet to always like be on the lookout for me and she was like she called me and she said hey so it's not 46 count it's 40 count but what would you feel about this and i was like yes please i'll deal yes all right we have one more package to show you that we got from the liz matthews this is all of her new market releases that she graciously graciously shared with us so i want to go through those this first one is token of fall i got a preview of this one and i just could not wait it's awesome that bird is gorgeous beautiful that border is awesome too then we have the next installment of the christmas trees um and this is the fifth day of christmas which is so pretty this like peaking situation like i love this mm -hmm. that whole situation in the corner then um we have okay then we've got after the rain which we have shown you before so we uh got to take part in this awesome kind of uh, collab that we did with Liz and several other stitchers and pick our own color scheme. And so uh, if you would like that color scheme, you can email me and I can email you our choices for that. But this is After the Rain. I love it. And on the back, she lists uh, the other people who uh, created a color scheme for it. And you can email them or find them on Instagram and ask them for theirs. But the colorway situation that she used, I love already. This is Bittersweet Village, and you have seen this because I actually stitched this for Liz. <laughs> so this is Bittersweet Village. I talked about it uh, when... Did you show it, though, when you were I going? did not. Right. No, absolutely not. Um, I got to stitch this for her, and I just think it's fantastic. I love it so much, but I am a sucker for villages because I love it so much. And then lastly, we have Two Pumpkins Bright. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I like so I like much. that guy. Yeah, that's super cute. So I love it. Okay, so we have two um two copies of Two Pumpkins Bright. So I want to give this one away. So let's talk about giveaways for just a second before uh I tell you what to comment to um win this. If you have one to give away from us. At any point, whether in Common Threaded Stitcher or in our floss tube, you should have that now. We have taken all everything to the post, <laughs> whether it was virtual or um, here, 
more physical, we have mailed everything out. So um, everything, every, everybody should have all of their things. So I want to give away two pumpkins bright though, because I just think this is amazing. So this is Two Pumpkins Bright by Hello for Liz Matthews. This was a market release for fall of 20, nope, not market, I'm so sorry. It's Needlework Expo release for 2021, the fall of 2021. And so I wanna give this away. So I would love to know it down in the comments. Let's see. What is your favorite fall decoration in your home? Oh. Do you have a favorite fall decoration? I'm really glad you can't insert a picture in a comment because I feel like y'all would be enabling Kia. <laughs> yes, probably. <laughs> so is it a cross-stitch piece that you finished? Is it something that was handed down to you and your family? Is it some, a, a quilting piece that you've made? What is your favorite fall piece? I, um, I can tell you my favorite fall piece in Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. My favorite piece in her house is that quilt she just made. If you have not seen it, you need to go check it out on her channel. It's beautiful. It's the perfect fall, like sweet quilt. I love it so much. Yeah, so, sweet. yeah. All right. Anything else? What are your plans this week? The stitch. I know. <laughs> oh, you talked about that you want to finish the barn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. My plans this week are, um, I don't know, actually. I don't want to commit to a plan. I don't think. I wouldn't commit to a plan. Because I've kind of been all over the place with my stitching. And I want you to feel like... One play, one stitch isn't like capturing my attention for longer than like a 24-hour period. Which is fine because then I have a lot of whips to show, but still. So. Yes. So well, my plan we will have is to, to have no week. plan. Yeah. <laughs> my plan is to have no plan. Nice. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us in the hive for the last half hour. We appreciate it very much. And thanks for letting us get a little personal there for a moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so don't forget to comment in our giveaway post down below and we will see you all next week. Bye. Yeah.